fight against me and stand up for my yeah,
young man. Hallelujah. During the time I was so sick. But it mean. Hallelujah. It mean the business. During his studying. He don't forget anything when he come to church. Fasting. He will put it off and do fasting. The teacher will come and they will complain. But trust me, at the end of it, his average will be 98.5 or something here. Locally, he put a lot of stuff for God. But when he comes to the end, he's the winner. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. And I want to say to you that everything that he touched, everything that he put his mind to, he become the head and not the tail. As a young man, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just to sing about 
didn't. But I speak to God. He's gonna preach. I have never teach him. I teach this young man. This is my son. I'm gonna be up. I never teach him. I only guide him. But let's be the name of Jesus. Let's be the name of Jesus. He has a name that they give him from his mom. A very unusual name from my mom. When this child come, my mom leaves the steps. And she brings something for him. And he said, Name him after you, name him Lofi. And my mom said, You will be the head. And this evening I represent my son to you. I call him Yofi. My name is Sophia. Amen. His name is Destiny Mackenzie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bring food to you in the name of Jesus. Preach yourself. Just remain standing and pull your hands. Most righteous and eternal Father and God, as I come before your presence this hour, Lord, to bring forth your word, I pray to my God that you may speak to me, that I may speak to your people. Use me like you never used me before. In Jesus Christ, and I pray to the other church say, Praise the name of Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. But before I go in my sermon, I'm just going to ask Sister Williams to help me see this car. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Sister Williams, I'm going to ask you to help me sing this song. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon this promise just to know the same Oh, 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 oh. 
a son of the apostolic anointing. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. It was good. Amen. And today we're on to a powerful theme. Keep in thee the word of God. And don't forget. Tell your neighbor, don't forget. Don't forget. His testimony. And we're looking at this book, the book, one of the book of prophecy. Amen. And this book talk of things that is to come. Praise God. Now the revelation can be defined. Amen. It's the disclosure of divine or secret reality or purpose to humanity. Amen. In the religious view, such disclosure, amen, may come to mystical insights, historical events, or spiritual experiences that transform the lives of individuals. Amen. Revelation comes from the Greek, from the first word of the book in Kayon Greek, amen, which is apocalypse which means unveiling bless the name of Jesus now the book of Revelation was written sometime about 96 CE amen in Asia Minor praise God the author of this book is John the Apostle also called John Revelator amen John the Divine John the Theologia praise God Hallelujah. Revelation. Now the purpose, amen, of this book, amen, the revelation of Jesus Christ was given to John by God to show his servant what must soon take place. This book is full with mysteries, amen, about things to come. It is a final warning that the world will surely end and judgment will be certain. Praise God. I love to declare the book, amen, before I go into the word. Amen. I promise you today, you will receive a word. Amen. It is my first time preaching here and I want to leave in an impression. Praise God. Hallelujah. It gives us a tiny glimpse of heaven and all its glories awaiting those who keep their robes white. Amen. Revelation take us through the great tribulation with all its woe and the final fire that all believers will face for eternity. Amen. The book reiterates the fall of Satan and the doom he and his angels are bound for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So the book of Revelation, amen, it gives a prophecy that is to come. And I, 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 I am sure when I listen to the testimonies that I get to understand that you guys testify in the past tense. Amen. You said that the man of God told you last week, and it happened this week. He told the last year, it happened this year. Amen. That is what a revelation is like. Amen. And many of us have received revelations in our lives. Amen. And the revelation has played out, but because we have the spirit of gratefulness, amen, we desire not to testify of the power of God. Praise God. Revelation. Is the book of prophecy. Amen. It was actually written to the seven churches. Amen. In Asia. Hallelujah. The book of Revelation was also written to, con to convert the elect Christians as they underwent persecutions at the hands of emperor and an emperor known as Nero. Amen. So the reason why John, amen, the writer of this book, 
Amen. Was in exile is because of the empire that oppressed the church. The Apostle John was on the Isle of Patmos after the empire nearly exiled him for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is to say that even sometime when you testify of God's glory, some people are going to put you down. Tell you to stop the mind. Stop. Stop showing off. But what I love, Bishop, is that after, amen, they put the man on the Isle of Patmos, expected him to die, he arose with new testimony. Simple to say that each time the enemy, amen, entered into your life, tried to put you down, the enemy don't know that they are giving you a new and each new testimony signifies a new anointing. And each new anointing signifies a new power. Stand up for my heaven, Lord.